Okay, YouTube. So today we're going to take some of these battery packs and move them from behind the seat to under the seat. To do that, we're going to take out one of these lead acid batteries that we're not using anymore. So let's get to it. So down in the bottom of the golf cart, I have two batteries that they're there, but they're electrically disconnected from the whole rest of the golf cart. And uh, uh, today we'll be getting rid of one of them, but the problem with just taking them out is I've been using the posts on the battery as a place to bolt my lithium packs. So if you take out the battery, um, you lose a mounting point, so you gotta make up for that. So what we're gonna do is, this is almost like a proof of concept thing. It's gonna prove that this is gonna work because I got some uh, future improvements coming, but take a piece of copper pipe and I'm gonna make a little bus bar out of it. Uh, so that I can bolt a whole lot more things to another battery terminal. Because once you start bolting a whole bunch of wires to them, it gets really tall and it's the, the stud's just not long enough to, to put the nut on there anymore. So uh, we need to extend that out. So take a little piece of copper pipe and scrap copper, cut it to length, uh, flatten it out in the vise, drill some holes in it, in the mill, um, and then you saw me there using the deburring tool. That has made all the difference in the world. It really improves the quality of anything you do is to deburr it, and that tool is really easy to use. Um, but so we got to unbolt everything that's on the one uh, terminal and uh, move over this little uh, bus bar that I made and start bolting everything to it. Um, once we get that done, then that battery will be disconnected and we'll be able to pull it up and out of there. All right. It is time now to go ahead and take that battery out. And uh, now we got a, an empty spot down there. You can go ahead and put some battery packs in there. Uh, the, the important thing to remember when you're dealing with high power like this is to, you wanna use quality rubber bands. So the, these are things I got from Walmart. That's kind of a joke. I, uh, you know, rubber bands just temporary. I wanna keep that stuff from bouncing around too much so I rubber banded them together. Later on, they'll get zip ties, um, at least at first, and then somewhere in the end, I'll probably build some kind of holder for them that's a lot more permanent than that. Um, now, what you see me doing here, I'm putting some heat shrink on there. These are bare terminals, uh, terminal ends that I'm putting on there, and one of the problems I've had is vibration has caused the wire to break, and when that wire breaks, um, if, if I've crimped onto the insulation, the insulation will still be there, but it'll look like the wire's connected and it's not. And then I'll have one pack that's electrically disconnected from the rest of it. But um, so far this is working. I'll put those packs in there. Um, that top one that's not even shrink wrapped, that's sort of an experimental pack to do other stuff with. But uh, yeah, looks like it's worked. All right, so there you have it. We took out uh, one of these batteries. We put the battery packs in here. Got a uh, place to attach some more wires and these wires are attached over here. So not all of them, but a bunch of them are down underneath here. So next step, we're going to take out another one, but we're going to need to make a brace in here and something non-conductive to put some uh, more of these bars so that we can make some uh, mounting points to make some more electricity. So stay tuned. If you like it, subscribe, share, tell all your friends about it. Get out there and make something. 